all right youtube what is going on thanks for joining me back to yet another video um this is a haircut i know i said uh, i'm gonna be posting uh different content that's not just cutting hair uh, i just want to get this one you know out of the way um i still got a bunch of stuff to work on plenty of ideas for you so just stay tuned make sure you subscribe with that notification bell on um so yeah this haircut it was kind of like a messy top that's kind of what he wanted uh and then he wanted like a number one fade on the sides uh and we gave him like ice pick sideburns so as you can see right now i'm just cutting the top uh just trying to make it all even uh so we just wet the hair uh he doesn't have like really curly hair it's it's kind of like it's almost straight uh but he wanted like a bit of a messy look so yeah, we just put that water on there and now we're just like cross-checking, making sure it's all even, uh, making our way back. So uh, yeah. And guys, do y'all hear that gonna type beat? It's too fire. Man, actually though, go check out his YouTube channel, man. He does some fire beats, so make sure y'all check him out. The link will be in the description. So like I said in the last video, uh, I wasn't as experienced uh, with sheer work and stuff like that. So to be honest, I was just trying to do whatever to make it even. Uh, but you know, it, it's not always the best way and stuff. So, you know, right now we're just starting the fade uh, with that number one. Uh, I think it's closed. Um, recently, I actually started starting uh, my fades from one, from the one open. Because uh, when you start with the one closed, uh, and then you go with your one open a little higher after that it's kind of hard to see where you went with it and then when you put that two guard on there you don't know if you're blending from the one closed or the one open or what so i like to set it with my uh one open right set it all around uh and then uh i'll close it and do like the bottom half or something and then just blend it in uh by flicking out and playing with the lever if i need to um and then I'll go in with like my two guard and stuff. Uh, but in this haircut, I think it was closed. Uh, so we just went all around. Um, he doesn't have like too much space to work with. So it's kind of like a low fade. Um, and yeah, we're just trying to match up both sides together. Making sure it's a clean guideline. Uh, and setting a good foundation for the haircut. Um, what I would have done differently for this haircut, I probably would have went up with like a number four or a number three. Uh, just going up off the head uh, and trying to connect the sides to the top uh, by doing that. Uh, and then just doing some scissor work uh, and using my fingers uh, to just connect it and put some, you know, vertical sections. Um, I'll, I'll probably explain that in later videos. But yeah, right now I'm just setting in that guideline uh, and going in with uh, my other guards and trying to work out the that fade and then we'll, we'll probably connect it uh right after that so right here as you can see we're going in with that number two setting in another guideline uh and man i should have went like a lot higher because if you say your guidelines like you know too small uh and you don't give yourself enough space it makes it so much harder uh to fade um but you know doing compressed fades like is a skill but you don't need to do that for no reason if you don't need to. Uh, there's still quite a bit of space to work with. And I barely went like half an inch, like less than that. Um, obviously, it's a two guard. So like if you go with your bigger guards, it's not that bad if you don't give yourself that much space. Because they blend in pretty easily. Uh, but even like a two, especially if it's a fade from one, I, cut, I probably could have uh, stretched it a bit more. Uh, and then went in with my three and connected it uh, to the top. Uh, or maybe use the four even. So right here, we're going in with that number two closed. Uh, just to soften up that line, because we set the guideline with the two open. Uh, so the two closed will make things a bit easier uh, to blend from that one to that two. And then we'll go in with our half guard. So as you can see, we're putting that two all, all the way around the head. That's our purple guard. Now I've got my white guard, which is my uh, one and a half. Uh, and that's really going to help you blend uh, from the one to the two. So I think we started open. Um, and yeah, just kind of closed it little by little. Um, and, you know, slowly but surely that line's going to fade away. 
Um, right now, I don't really like going with the one and a half open because it doesn't really cut much. It's it pretty much cuts like a two. Uh, so I'd rather go uh, halfway with the lever, uh, and then I'll play with the lever after that if I need to. But generally, I'll just go with the one and a half halfway open. And same thing with the half guard because if you open it up, it could cut like a one, like a one close. So uh, yeah. So now, as you can see, we're going in with that number three. Uh, I think it's open. Uh, we're just going a little bit higher than how we went with the two, uh, just to give it, you know, some more transition. Uh, and as you can see, you know, it's it's starting to blend in uh, pretty nicely. Uh, and after we detail it, it's, it's going to become quite a bit better. So, uh, yeah, right now, started doing some clipper over comb to connect that three to the top. Um, and yeah, just with the clipper, uh, the lever's closed. Uh, some people will like put a guard on there uh, and put it close to the comb and kind of flick it out. Uh, I don't do all that crazy stuff. I just do it simple, lever closed and do it. You could technically do it lever open and stuff like that. Um, but if you're just setting shape without connecting anything, um, it, it's fine if you like do it closed. It, you know, it's all about preference. Um, but yeah, like I said in some of my other videos, I started not really liking clipper over comb as much. Because uh, sometimes it can take too much length off. Uh, and if, if you're not like as good at it, it, it just it kind of takes some time and it's, it's hard to perfect it. So, uh, yeah, I, I'd rather sometimes just to set it with the shears and just try to connect it just with my scissors. But, you know, uh, it works. It just depends uh, on who you are and uh, your personal preference. So I asked him to taper the back uh, and he said, uh, yeah, he was cool with that. So, uh, yeah, we just tapered it out. So we set in that ball guideline, taking out everything that's under it. Um, and as you can see, it has these like uh, that part, you know, at the back where you have these two little bones or whatever. Uh, so it kind of makes it a bit harder to fade and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'll just let you guys watch how I do it. And yeah, my bad for being in the way, but uh, we just set it with the lever open, the next guideline. Uh, so we're just working at that, uh, playing with the lever and flicking it out. Uh, just so, you know, it has a nice transition. And then we'll follow that up uh, with the one guard. Uh, that area should be already close to one guard. Um, and then we can just use our half guard to blend it in. So right now, as you can see, I'm using that uh, one guard uh, just to soften things up in case, you know, it's not already a one guard. And yeah, we'll put that half guard on there, like I just said. And, you know, starting to, to come out uh, and to blend in, you know, pretty, pretty decently. So uh, as you can see right now, I got my half guard uh, and we're just trying to use our corners uh, and blend it in as much as we can. So we did the taper on the back uh, and now we're lining him up as you can see. Uh, so like I said, he asked for the ice pick sideburns. Uh, we did that, we did the vertical bars. Uh, he didn't want uh, a lineup like in the forehead area. So I just kind of left it natural there. Um, so yeah, that's what he wanted. Uh, maybe next time he'll get one, we'll see, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're just working at the ice picks, following that up at the back, and just trying to line them up real crispy all around, and of course, what you do to one side is what you do to the other, so we're just following that up right on the other side. So after you line someone up, you always want to use that razor uh, to make it even crispier uh, and closer to the skin. So uh, yeah, we're just, you know, trying to stretch the skin. Uh, you can't see me do right here, but uh, that'll just prevent you from, you know, cutting the client. Uh, so yeah, we're just trying to work out the line and make it, you know, as crispy as possible. So now we're pretty much done with the haircut. I'm just detailing with that one and a half guard. Uh, just trying to bring the haircut to the next level and make it as good as I can. Uh, at the end, he was pretty happy with the cut. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep getting better. Uh, you know, like always. So uh, yeah. So as you can see, uh, the cut is pretty much done. And we're just dusting the hair off. 
um, and you know we did some detail uh, try to you know make it as good as we can and uh, you know like I said he was pretty happy so make sure you guys hit that like button uh, comment down below what you think um, yeah it's, it's just gonna keep getting better man so uh, yeah make sure you give me some feedback um, tell me what content you want so uh, yeah we just sprayed some water on there give it a bit of a curly look and yeah got this man looking uh, that much better so as you can see this is how my man came in uh, a little overgrown on the sides had to be cleaned up a bit and this is how it came out tapered out the back and got him looking right so uh peace out guys and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one